Going to need to make a new door for the access to the furnace, which uh, is under the oven. Uh, this one is um, coming apart probably just from being in the kitchen, uh, getting wet time to time. But so the door's bad, but the um, the lattice work in here is still good. So uh, bought this board at Lowe's yesterday. It's a uh, paint grade so it's solid wood it's paint grade so uh, I think that'll look, look nice after it's painted it's got all these joints in it but I think that'll work out well for what I'm doing here's the door panel that I cut out for this long skinny door on this little corner cabinet um, so I've got that cut out I'm gonna need to round off the edges to match uh, the way that these edges are rounded just on the two sides and so I've got a, a router here with a with a round over bit and uh, so that's what I'll use I've tested it out on a scrap piece and it looks like it's set just about right so I'll round the edge <coughs> the two long edges of this one and then on this one I will also round the, the two edges. This is what the piece that I cut out to match this one that had this lattice work in the, in the middle. Um, but also on this one what I'm going to need to do is um, use a square router bit and route uh, just a notch all the way around so that this lattice work will sit down in there. Um, I could just connect it to the back, but it wouldn't look as good. I think it needs to have, needs to be set in there uh, so you don't see the whole thickness of that on the on the inside. I think it'll look nicer. On this one, on the original one, it was in the middle and somehow they actually sandwiched it in between when they when they made it. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. So here's the frame for the door uh, that goes into the furnace to replace the old one. And um, so I've taken out this lattice piece that was in the old one and uh, cut the hole to the appropriate size. And now I'm going to um, route out a notch all the way around here with this square router bit right here. And um, so that this will, from the back side, this will fit down uh, inside there from the back side. And um, I had to actually open up my, cut a little bit more off of here because I realized that the, the router bit is only going to cut about three eighths of an inch deep. And so I had to um, bring this line back this way a little bit so that when I run along here with the router bit, It'll open it up big enough. So I'm getting ready to do that now.
Okay, so I was routing this. I broke it. So I think I can glue this and clamp it and make it work. So I'll, I'll glue it and clamp it and then um, come back and make sure it's going to be strong enough. And then I'll finish routing it and uh, go from there. All right, so I got this glued and clamped, so we'll leave it for half an hour or so, or maybe an hour, and uh, take it out and make sure it's going to be strong enough, and then I'll finish routing. All right, it's been a couple of hours. Let's see how this does. I think that looks pretty good. It looks pretty sturdy, so I'm going to clamp this back to the table. I think I had it hanging over way too far before. That's the reason it broke, so I'll clamp this to the table here and uh, finish up this routing. See how this fits. Fits in there pretty well. It's going to look nice. I decide if I'm going to paint that white like the frame or, or leave it or paint a different color. So here's a look at this door after I got it finished and painted. I decided to go ahead and paint the, the lattice work white. I think that looks pretty good and um, got that installed there over the in front of the furnace and the other door I made is this long door here on this corner cabinet it turned out pretty good so uh, that's that also got a little sneak preview of the kitchen here with the new countertop and uh, stove top and microwave here. We've got a lot more videos coming up so stay tuned and you'll see how I put in this convection microwave and about uh, this combination gas induction cooktop and the new wood countertop as well as interior decorations and things. So uh, click the wheel in the lower left hand corner to subscribe and we'll see you next time.